Hello there, guys, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Regrowth with me, Sick the Wolf, and Pork Chop. As you can see, some of the trees have finally grown, and I have expanded the pasture just a little bit. So I have been busy. Oh, and it looks like the last bush grew. Very nice. So these are the Japanese maples. Our good old oak tree, and look at this magnificent tree. This was the umber autumn sapling. Still waiting on this one to grow, unnamed. Uh, I think it was the citron? Citrus? Gone through and done one more round of crops. So everything has upgraded a little bit. This one's actually fairly close to 10, 10, 10 now might actually get there. That one too, that one's not too far off. They're really not too far off. But today, we have something other than crops in mind. Today we're going to start in Botania. That is going to allow us to harness the power of those mystical flowers that I've been growing and turn it into something a little more useful. Maybe something that will get us started on our quest for, well, rejuvenating the land because I sure don't feel like running around and digging up an entire world's worth of cracked sand by hand nope I'm gonna find an easier way to do that besides that doesn't actually fix the problem that just puts a band-aid on it so let's begin where to start in Botania well first things first we're gonna need a petal apothecary <laughs> Petal Apothecary. Oh, got some extras laying around. Let's grab this. Have I made a Botania book? I thought I did. Ah, I did. Okay. Might as well grab onto that. Dump these in here. Eh, I'll hold on to a little. Let's see. Cobblestone. That. So, recipe pour the I'm really good at words today. The recipe for the Petal Apothecary is pretty simple, but I'm going to need a petal. i to think of which one of these is in. Let's just stick with what we know. Magenta! Magenta flowers. Is this it? No. Hang on. Oh, you can also make different colored ones, but I'm not really sure on how to make that yet. Figure it out. Ah, close. It's almost there. There. Okay. So, since I have two petals and I don't want to waste them, let's go ahead and make two apothecaries. Let's see. To what it once was. Oh, look. Seems the book and I are in agreement. This might be the way to go. Make a pure daisy. Well, that's pretty easy. Gonna need two of these and a seed. For that, I need the flowers, need the seed. Let's just move some things out of the way. Need some water. Figure out where to set up. Hmm. Well. You know, here's as good a place as any. Petal apothecary, petal apothecary. I'm going to want I want a continuous source of water back here. So I'm gonna need water often. Is this well big enough for me to take the water out of? No. It's only one block. Make water source over here. So, pork chop, what do you know about Batania? Probably nothing. How do I? Eh. Come on. Oh, fine. I'll just hop down there. Down there. Here we go. Just kind of want 
tuck it away. back and forth. wonder if I can make some shoes that will make me walk faster. That would be pretty cool. Alright, so... Hmm. I actually messed this up a bit. Let's see. So that is now... If I do it this way, adorable. Okay, so on to the flower making part. Don't need you anymore. So the pure daisy, easiest flower to make. Not gonna need any mystical petals. Not gonna need any mana. Just going to need four white petals which you can just drop in there. Doesn't that make a really cool animation? And look! And listen. You're just splashing around in there. Tossing a seed. Boom! Pure daisy. Done. And now, we need to make some living wood and some living rock go over here and make a spot to grow a daisy in. So that's a good spot there. And give it another trim you back. There. Do I have any dirt on me? Of course not. Why would I have dirt on me? That would be unreasonable. I mean, I only need dirt to plant flowers. Do I not have any? Okay. No parcel stacks. Go ahead and sleep away this night while I'm at it. Though I suppose that I could let night hang around. Go ahead and hunt an enderman soon. Hmm. Nope. Oh. Pay attention to where you're going. Alright, so, there's that. We need some logs. Get some logs. Get some logs from you. Hey! Getting wood. The door. Yay! Fireworks! Ah! Celebrations! need eight logs. Come back and finish that tree off in a second. Boop, boop. So, what the pure daisy does is it will change any type of log, even these ones, into living wood. It will in imbue it with its mystical flower magic properties. It will do the same with smooth stone, but not cobblestone. In the meantime, let's see, did I get a sapling? Sure did. Good. Keep those oak trees propagating. From one, there shall be many. Punching leaves, punching leaves. Go get some stone ready. How many does this want? Uh, this is gonna want 16. My goodness. Alright. Do I have 16 stone? No, I have 4. Cobblestone? Oh, in my inventory. Potatoes. Why don't I have any charcoal? What am I doing to myself? Well, I guess I can burn this stuff. It's kind of a waste, but... Uh, 
that's not gonna get me very far. There we go. One more? No. Okay. Just make me some wood or stone. Ah, there we go. Living wood is done. No, round one of living wood is done. What am I doing with myself? I don't know. So here we go. It has this nice deep dark brown color to it. You can also make it into planks, but for the most part you want to use it solid as it is. It does make some nice planks though. I will go ahead and set these to transform while we wait. We'll work on chopping down these trees. And look at it! Finally grew! Hooray! I did get a little bit of the Japanese... Whoop, Japanese maple wood, and that's actually really pretty. Citrine Autumn. Why did you start decaying? Huh. Strange. Oh well. Either way, we got a nice big tree out of this one. Let's go ahead and pick this tree apart and we can start turning it into some living wood. Planks aren't too bad for this one either, but they're a little bright for most working. Bright red orange. Why are you being strange? Hatchet. Hmm. Who knows? Why is this tree sure spread out? My goodness. Up we go. There we go. Let's try to get all the logs out of here. Let it decay. How much higher? Oh good. No more higher. Got plenty of saplings at least. I'll be able to keep this type going. A little bit worried with the Japanese maples because sometimes you don't get a sapling. I mean, I can always make another, but that's a big pain. Mutandus isn't easy to come by, you know. At least not yet. It'll be a little bit easier to make later on. Once I actually have a reliable Reliable source of green. Hey, an apple. There we go. Think that's all of it? Seems to be decaying nicely now. Whee! Back down. So in the meantime, I can use these for saplings and... Well, any type of wood that I need, really to turn it into living wood or charcoal. Might have to start turning some of it into charcoal. Come on, give me your logs. And apples. Delicious apples. Apples and saplings. Love to cook saplings to turn them into wood ash. Hey, the sugar cane's ready. That's ready. Let's see. Let's see if this in here is ready. Oh, got a few. Got a few. Let's see, can I make just one more? Am I completely out of dead wood? Can I burn this door? Can I burn this door? Hmm. Can I burn this? <coughs> Yes. No, it wasn't enough. It was not enough. All right, go get a piece of charcoal. It's gotta be some chunk of dead wood around here somewhere. Whoops! Go collect these before I forget. And they all despawn, and then I'll be sad. So many saplings. It's good though. That is good. Let's 
dead tree over here. Dead tree. Okay. Plant this while I'm at it. Ask you a question? Oh, that was bad. We. Let's see. Eh. You know, it's nice that I can repair these on the fly. Really like it if they lasted a little longer. Definitely got to get on better tools. I think that's high priority. Better tools. Food's taken care of. Some of the basics are taken care of. Finally got wood at least. So it's pretty important. Okay. Let's see. A bit of charcoal then. Yeah, here's spider. I think there's a hole underneath here. I know there's a hole under here. I filled it with torches. It was annoying me. Skeletons clattering around. Let's see. Living rock is done. Let us pop in a piece of charcoal. There we go. Let's see. Don't plan on turning it all into charcoal, but I need a little. Do one more round of living wood. That'll wrap that up. We can cook some more stone, and we'll be solid. There we go. Make me some beautiful living wood, please. Thank you, flower. Hard at work. Punching leaves. Come on. Okay. Ah, drives me nuts when they sit up there for ages. Okay, there's that. While we wait for that to make some charcoal, let's see. No, not quite ready yet. Not quite. These are growing nicely. I do have some more mandrakes, so I can make some more mutandus. Could cut you down, but I'll wait. I will wait. Let's go ahead and deal with this. There we go. Eight. Just cook eight more. And dump that in there. Dump the wood in there. Wood ash, got a little bit. Ah, good, 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 good. Going to have to really start sorting this stuff out. But that is why I built that storage area upstairs. Just have to start building some storage bins. Chests, oh, I got one. Ah, there it is. There's my maple logs. There, see, they're really pretty. Nice, nice light pink. I wonder, put the entry hole. Let's see. Let's see. Do it like this. Just have a nice pink floor in here. Maybe? Sure, why not? Well, maybe the entryway should be stone. Hmm. I'll think on it. There we go. Either way. Ooh, plenty of cobble. Cook more of it later. Ah, there we go. That's done. That 
finishes up our living wood portion of the quest. One more round of stone. I hear you. Hey. Go away. Do not have time for you. Anyway, as I was saying, one more round of living wood or living rock. That should finish that portion of the quest. Yes? Uh, of course. Going to make me have it all in my inventory. Can't just remember that I already made some. Oh no. Can't do it that way. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's gonna give me three more flowers. One there, one there. That will do another up here. Kinda wanna make like a nice little terrace to just spot. One there, and one there. That should be nice. Yeah. Pickaxe. Broke. Good old broken pickaxe. Wonder if I can't just sit and watch. Come on, living rock. There it goes. This is pretty neat. No? Ah, there it goes. Yeah. Get a nice little satisfying popping sound. Hooray! Should put some stairs outside, too. So, this. Let's see. Probably floral fertilizer would be the best to deal with. Ah, now it wants me to go into some even more Botania. Some more of that. A little bit of dirt. Where's my dirt? There's my dirt. Flowers. There you are. not plant them on anything that isn't dirt or grass, so, nope, see, won't go down, won't go down on this stuff, there we go, so now we've got ourselves some nice, nice flowers, ready to go, looks lovely, why not? Lit up over here a little. It's okay. No? Eh. Just leave it there. Whee! Okay. That's good for now. Alright. So, what's the next step? Mm. Well, made the pure daisies, got some living wood and living rock started. Up next is going to be mana generation, mana generating flora. That's going to require a little more space. So I think what I might do is I'll clear an area, get that kind of ready to go, and you guys can join me next time once we're a little more prepared. Ta-ta for now.